good, a pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. Well, brothers and sisters, I was watching a video on the internet on YouTube and picking up the video from England where there's debate in the studio with the invited guests and the panel, round table panel, and they're discussing about is the portrait of Queen Elizabeth, the head of state, is offensive because they said the core of the discussion was that a person in the workplace somewhere in England had they was working in to the, of that working in that company organization and one of the worker in that company organization was offended because the portrait of because the picture of the queen was in the building and because of that person was offended between because of the queen picture was in that building as head of state or the picture of the queen was in the building that person receive compensation at ten thousand dollars they didn't they shouldn't give you one cent i hear it you actually understand that person who is offended by the pity of the queen she wouldn't i seen she got ten thousand dollars i wish she didn't get one dime because ladies and gentlemen you're dealing with the british empire and queen elizabeth ii she's the head of state of england She's the head of state of all the countries that that England have ruled over. For instance, she was the head of state of Hong Kong. She was the head of state of my country, Trinidad and Tobago, we have been independent and republic. The head of state of Jamaica, Montserrat, she's the head of state. I think she's still the head of state of Grenada and Barbados. This this month. And this year 2020 they have voted in Barbados, little England but the opposition and the government to pass law in Parliament to move the Queen so they will and their governor general who was representing the Queen as head of state in Barbados now she will be the first woman president of Barbados in this year 2020 2021 but a lot of people have obtained independence from Britain and republic so the queen is no longer head of state but the time when the queen of head of state they, they have a governor general representing the queen the the queen is the head of state for instance the queen is the head of state of australia because the people of australia are british people the queen the queen is the head of state of new zealand because the people of new zealand is said british people who left britain and went across to new zealand and australia the queen of state is the head of canada but 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 in Canada, New Zealand and Australia, the Governor General is representing the Queen. But the Queen is the head of state. I say I say God save the Queen. And I want to say to all the people of Britain, show great respect to Queen Elizabeth. Show great respect to the Queen. Because she's the head of state. And that the, all those who say that the Queen pity they are being offended by the queen the pity of the queen well in my country my country if you go in any government building you will see the pity of the prime minister the pity of the president head of state for instance if you go in the ministry of agriculture in Trinidad, you will see the pity of the prime minister the president and the minister of agriculture if you go in the, in the in the ministry of national security in Trinidad, you will see the picture of the prime minister, the picture of the head of state, which is um, Paula Weeks, the current head of state, president of Trinidad and Tobago, and you will see the minister of national security, and that apply to all the ministries of Trinidad. For instance, if you go in the ministry of um, let's let us say the ministry of finance. Or the offense and the Ministry of Works, you will see the pity of the Prime Minister, the pity of the Head of State, Paula Weeks, the President, current President now, and you will see the Minister of Works. 
and apply that across the board to eat ministry it would be the same thing the pity of the prime minister the pity of the head of state paula weeks and the pity of that pacific minister who is in that pacific ministry and so it is you understand so in all the government buildings in america i mean in england of course the queen will be in it because she's the head of state and plus people in all the houses and homes will have the pity of the queen so these people who are offended by the queen i pity them you know i pity them i really pity them yes i eric braxton have come out and record this video say the i pity them god save the queen elizabeth and give her health and strength that she will remain many years on the throne of england no? yes because she's the head of the commonwealth all these Af countries in africa and the caribbean who have obtained independence and and, and republic from queen from the from the british empire when they have the big conference meeting any part of the world is the queen have to be there to open the meeting and address the and to address all the members the heads of state that gather in that important meeting she's the head of state and because of sickness if she's sick and uh, sick and she's not well and she got advice from her doctor to rest and she cannot go to open the commonwealth meeting she sent a representative from the royal government from the from the government of england to represent her represent the majesty queen elizabeth i say god save the queen i eric braxton are backing the queen i am backing queen elizabeth and today or tomorrow by the help of god I leave Trinidad and Tobago and I come to England. I will make sure a part of my duty is to go to Buckingham Palace where I cannot get inside by no official invitation. But I will be outside it in Buckingham Palace looking at the royal guards in the booth with a big black hat with a gun standing at attention and I will salute them, salute them. I will say, go up to the gun and say, I, Eric Braxton, is from Trinidad and Tobago. This is my first official visit to England. And I am suiting you, dear soldier, the royal guard, and I will suit the guard. Yes, give him that respect. And I will say, God save the queen. And let that guard know that I am supporting Queen Elizabeth. And if I come today tomorrow in England, anywhere I go throughout the length and breadth of England, I will have the Trinidadian flag with me. Mark Trinidad and Tobago representing my country and I will have the British flag along with me and I will have a pity of Queen Elizabeth on my shirt showing them that I'm supporting the royal family and I'm supporting Queen Elizabeth. God save the Queen. God save the Queen. God save the Queen and let me tell you the Queen is head of state. All, all countries that send their ambassadors and the diplomat to go to England. Who they have to go to present the prudential to? They have to go to Queen Elizabeth to present the prudential. Yes, all the ambassadors from all the countries when they enter England, they do not go down to 10 Downing Street in the, to, to present the prudential to the Prime Minister. No, he's not the head of state. He's the head of the government. Mm -hmm. He's the head of the um, of the Majesty government. I will deal with that this now. But all the ambassadors and diplomats, they go to Buckingham Palace to present the presential to the Queen. Yes, because she's the head of state. Let me show you. In the House of Commons in England, between the between the Conservative Party and the Labour Party, when they're having a new session of Parliament and the Open Parliament. And the Queen is at to come to address her. You know what the Queen is say? Ah, uh, all it is no. I heard it the last time. In the big debate that was taking place in Brexit with America with England looking to leave the United States of Europe. Mm -hmm. How much years they in Europe and they leave. And uh, you understand? And they leave Brexit with Boris Johnson in the last debate that took place in 1920. 1920 mm-hmm they leave the european union i was watching what was taking place in the parliament at the house of commons and when the queen you know the queen and when the queen come to open the parliament you know she just rest them she just said she just say the queen they say my ministers my ministers will carry on my policy 
Uh -huh. So the Queen is saying that all the ministers in the Conservative Party, they are her ministers, and she's the head of the government. Uh -huh. And if the if the Labour Party win and come into power, and the Conservative is out of power, when she come to open parliament, she will say, all of them is my ministers, and I supported my ministers. Uh -huh. Because she's the head of state. Uh -huh. I want all you to know that. I want all you to know that. Mm -hmm. And if she go to Australia to open the parliament, when the new session study, like they, got, they have election, and whatsoever party win in Australia, New Zealand, or Canada, and they invite, they invite the Queen in spite the in spite the governor general is there and she 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 come and she enter parliament the queen is sitting here and the governor general is sitting there you know what she the queen is say uh all the all the members of parliament in the in the in canada in the parliament building inside in in, in canada the, the 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 government ministers and the opposition party in the house gather the you know what the queen is say and just the government all of them is my ministers this is my government, uh -huh. because she's the head of state of Canada, so that's how she distressed them. And all throughout England, and throughout Can um, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and all government buildings, they have the Queen, because she's the head of state. Mm -hmm. All on the stamps, is the Queen is the head. She is um, a petite, is here, and on the money, on the dollar bill. The pity of the queen and on the stamp official stamp of each of these country that the queen is head of state she her pity is on the stamp and on the money because she's the head of state mm -hmm. but many people doesn't like the queen mm -hmm. and they disrespected the queen S calling she all sorts of bad name and saying she's a wicked person and she's an evil person. The Queen Elizabeth is a wonderful person and she's a good person. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Queen Elizabeth. God save the Queen of England. So I want the people of England to know that I, Eric Braxton, are supporting the Queen a full 100%. I'm supporting the royal family a full 100%. And Queen Elizabeth Petia should be in all government buildings. That is in all government buildings. And no one should be offended by the Queen. But all those who are offended by the Queen, they have some sinister agenda against the Queen. All these, all these people whether they be in England or America or any other countries, who who doesn't like the Queen Elizabeth, they have some sinister agenda against Queen Elizabeth. Well, I can let you all know up front that I, Eric Braxton, this little Christian boy, have no sinister agenda against the Queen. I support Her Majesty a full hundred percent. I want you all to know that. And the British monarchy. Mm-hmm. So I want you all to know my stand on that. God save the Queen. God Jesus Christ save the Queen Elizabeth and her family and save the royal family for his honor and his glory. Yes, bless Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sadly, her husband, Prince Philip, have died recently. And she is there. And she has her grandchildren to see about. Mm -hmm her grandchildren and her son-in-laws and her daughter-in-laws to see what you know all of them are part of the royal family and she's the head of state and she traveled all over the world for many years meeting heads of states and remember all diplomats that enter england had to come to her to present her, her um the presidential and she love her, and she 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 is fun of the horse racing this recently this month 2021 we in November now. In October, I hear that the Queen went on to the racetrack to watch the royal horse. The horse run and things. She like horse. Since in a young day, she like going to the racetrack and, well, of course, from the balcony, watching the horse racing and taking part of the horse racing. And even in old her old days, she have maintained that tradition. Understand? I mean, because and she get she get advice from a doctor that's recently to rest. To rest, and she could not. Uh, many times she could not go to the racetrack to, to to watch the horse running. But she loved that. She loved that. That is part of the history, the British history growing up. 
Yes, that old lady that all are watching that, a lot of you all don't like. The very sad British people, a lot of the percentage all uh, don't like all their own queen. And any chance all they get all they want to bad talk the queen and show the respect to all your own head of state. Hmm. I Eric Brooks and pity all, all the British people. Whether you all be in England, whether you all be in Cornwall, whether you all be in Glasgow, Scotland, whether you all be in Wellington, New Zealand, whether you all be in Sydney, Australia, or Montreal, Canada. I know all of you all up there. In all these places that I call don't dislike the Queen. Oh, how I pity all you. Yeah. All you need to love the Queen and show her that royal respect. Mm -hmm. But you all here, but you all doesn't like the Queen because you all hear people even talk, even talking the Queen and by talking the Queen and and calling the Queen all sort of wickedness and wicked name. All you want to follow in their evil agenda to show respect to the Queen. Well, I appeal to all of all you out there, whether all you be in England, New Zealand, or Canada, or any of the islands of the Caribbean, or any other country in Africa, or any country in the world that back talking to Elizabeth, I hope that you all put that to a stop in the shortest, quickest possible time. Yes. And support her modesty. Pray for the health and the well-being of Queen Elizabeth and her and the royal family and for the people of England. Yes, but all they want to bad talk the Queen, although they don't like the Queen. I want to, I'm talking evil and wickedness against the Queen. I want you all to know that God, the Holy One of Israel, God the Father and Jesus Christ, are listing all the evil and the wickedness that you all are talking against the, the Queen and if all of them repent of it in the shortest possible time right and change all your attitude to Queen Elizabeth right right God will judge all your concern in that all the wickedness and bad talk and evil that all you're talking against the royal family and against Queen Elizabeth her majesty God save the Queen of England and her family God save the British Empire for his own and his glory Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The people of Hong Kong today welcome the Queen a full 100%. In spite of the Britain have ruled in Hong Kong for 150 years, the, the people of Hong Kong more, more glue to the Queen instead of the people, the, the, the China, the mainland China Communist Party. Yes, mm -hmm. because you know under British rule they have the freedom, but under Chinese rule they don't have so much freedom. Uh -huh. So in spite of obtaining independence from Queen Elizabeth, uh -huh. they still cling to England. Uh -huh. But China now, two country, but two party system because England, China is, the, China is a mainland communist. Whereas Hong Kong is not communist, but Hong Kong, but China have a governor general, well, a, a person in charge of Hong Kong. But all you remember two years ago. The monks are protesting in Hong Kong for a whole two months. They're protesting, burning down the place, fighting, shooting, and all kind of thing. Because England, because the parcel of China, they want to tell the governor general or the leader of Hong Kong that all the prisoners who convert, convicted there, they should come to serve the time in jail in, in the mainland China. And therefore, they didn't want that. And so much months, a whole two months, they was protesting day and night. Mm-hmm. You see much people dead? You see much building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see much building put burned down? Okay, now nah, finish. You see much building burned down and how much people get damaged and all these things? But thank God it finished. You understand? And then, then the, the leader of Hong Kong decided we will pass a law in the parliament in Hong Kong that whosoever, they are the prisoners, who, the people who commit crime, serious crime, or whatsoever crime they commit in Hong Kong, they will serve their time right in Hong Kong instead of going in China and serve time. Mm -hmm. You see? You see? But the people in Hong Kong, you understand? You understand? When the British was there for 100 and British 150 years, they was educated by the British. They were the police force and yeah, the police force and security forces of um, Hong Kong was trained by the British by the British and also when I used to go to the movies and watch the kung, my kung fu fighting and see Bolo, the Bolo from Hong Kong and these 
movie Kung Fu stars. In all the in all the films that in Hong Kong, in all the pictures that are in Hong Kong, you, you understand? When you join a movie, when you go in the police station or building, so you see the Queen Queen Elizabeth picture there. Mm -hmm. Because she's a head of state. But I know since she's no head of state, a lot of them said that they keep the Queen Elizabeth picture there as a reminder of good England was to them. They want to take down the lady face, take down the picture. Mm -hmm. and, but of, it's nothing wrong. The new leader of Hong Kong, of course, her picture will be in the official ministries and government building in Hong Kong. You understand? But the only one to keep she picture there and move Queen Elizabeth picture. But in spite of that, I want you all to know there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in Hong Kong who have Queen Elizabeth Petty inside the house. And they are and, and they're staying right there. Uh -huh. They think China will come and move the Petty with Queen Elizabeth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let China come and think they will move all the Petty with Queen Elizabeth in private people house. Uh -huh. China have a big have a big something coming. They will, they will face protests from the Hong Kong people concerning that. In the government buildings, yeah, they might move Queen Elizabeth Petya and only the leader of Hong Kong Petya inside there. I understand that. But in people private home all over Hong Kong, Queen Elizabeth Petya is in the house. And it's staying right there. And they are making nobody come to, to move that. Uh -huh, because they appreciate England. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want you all to know that. So I, I, I decided to record this video. To let you all know my stand on that matter. My stand on that matter. I support the Queen a full hundred percent. God save the Queen of England. God save the Queen of England and the British Empire. I mean they are not great as how they used to be years ago. Because a lot of these countries that she rule over obtain independence and republic. But still she have a lot of few places that she still control that have a governor general representing her. Right? You understand? But, but Britain was a great empire. Mm -hmm. And the current Queen Elizabeth, how much she is? I think she is, she husband Prince Philip, I think was, I think he was 98 years, close to 100 and he died. Because it was, he was alien for a little while, you know? Um, but Queen Elizabeth, I think is 90, 95 years old. Oh, I just pray and hope that she crossed that 100, that century mark. And she become that centurion, a full hundred, and go beyond a hundred. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I wish that Queen Elizabeth, I Eric Braxton, is with me Eric Braxton, is wishing that Queen Elizabeth live more than a hundred years. Mm -hmm. But a lot of all your, even British people hmm, who don't like the Queen and other people all over the world who don't like the Queen. Hmm, you all, you all, you all vex that she lived so long, up to 95 years. A lot of you all don't even want, to, want she to, to, to cross the hundred. A lot of you all find she she, she living too long and she on the throne too long. Uh -huh. I wish she stay on that throne for the next 50 years. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Well, look at see I'm mad. Why missing screws in my head? Why some lunatic? Why some so-called weirdo? Weirdo? Eh? Weirdo. I know this is the traditional terms you all will like. Um, I want to label me. <laughs> well, who is this little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, is talking so highly about Queen Elizabeth? <laughs> you think you know all the history of Britain? Uh, you think you know all the history of Britain and all what the British Empire have do? No, I just know everything about Britain and even the past history, know all the history that Britain do. But the letter I know, but what I do know and the stand that I take on, stand that I take concerning the Queen, I support Queen Elizabeth. God save the Queen. But a lot of you all don't like the Queen. All I hate the Queen. I don't hate the Queen. I love the Queen. Mm -hmm. She's the mother of England. Yes, Queen Elizabeth is the mother of England. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. When she open, when Parliament is open, she go in there and she dress all the all the members, elected members of the Conservative Party, and the, also the Speaker at the House of Representatives, and all the members of the House and the Labour Party, and they have to listen what she have to say. Uh huh. 
She's a head of state. Mm -hmm. A lot of Olio doesn't like that. Olio finds she's a dead long time. And why, I, you know? And she should resign. I don't so I doesn't want her to resign. I want her to continue on the throne. And if she die on the throne, fine, I accept that. If she die on the throne, I welcome that a full hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I want her to die on the throne. No resign at all. I want her to continue on that road that she's walking. Mm -hmm. As head of state. A lot of you all doesn't like what I'm saying and the support that I'm giving to the Queen. Yeah, a lot of you all out there doesn't like that at all. But I pity you all, I pity you all. I forgive you all for that negative thought and that sinister agenda of evilness and wickedness that you all have towards the Queen. Maybe have it towards me for supporting the Queen also. Was sad on all your parts, sad on all your parts. I pity you all in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray that God will forgive you all for showing that bad attitude and that sinister agenda of negativity towards the Queen and to the people of Britain and to the to, 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 to the royal household, the royal uh, royal empire, the British Empire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, 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 God. God have her on that throne for a reason. You all might not understand the reason, but you know the reason why. And God have put her there. But you all want to remove her from that position that God have placed her in. Mm -hmm. God have placed her in for a very important purpose for the people of her nation and the people that she represent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm people uh, that she represent and the advice that she give to the to world leaders that come to her mm -hmm. yes all you doesn't know that oh all you doesn't know that all you think when the ambassador came to come to england the ambassador of all the different countries when they enter the royal Buckingham palace to present the the, the presential towards the queen mm -hmm. is that to present the queen mm -hmm. And to eat up champagne and to eat nice food and steak and thing with the queen and that is it all they have it wrong when all the ambassadors of all the world from all the countries respective the country go to england to present the presential the queen is a mother to all of them she teach them and pass on her information to them because 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 for instance a young ambassador from trinidad whether he be ambassador from the pnm government or the unc government because we have an ambassador, we have relation, we have an ambassador of Trinidad in England, we have an embassy in England. When he go to present, when when the our ambassador in England service five years and come back to Trinidad, and the PNM government or UNC government in Trinidad appoint a new ambassador to, to go to England, and that Trinidadian ambassador enter England to go to and to present his presidential to the Queen. Remember, he's a young person, of forty or fifty years, or let me say sixty years. When he go before the queen, who is he seeing? Is he seeing a young tender little girl? No, he's seeing an old lady, old as his mother. Mm -hmm. And when he go to present a, his presential to the queen, uh, he have to bow to her majesty. And when he and the queen sitting down, uh -huh, who you think? Uh -huh. Is an old lady watching her, and that old lady is more older than his mother, is just as old as his mother. What do you think the queen will tell him? The queen is looking at that dead ambassador as a little child. She's the mother. She, he's, he's old. You say he's 60 years. Well, she's 95. Queen Elizabeth is looking in he. Queen, in, in Queen Elizabeth, I, that ambassador is a little child to he. So therefore, she have advice to him. And say this is your first assignment to Trinidad and Tobago. I welcome and advise him so and so and so and so. I welcome that I that you have a successful ambassador um, engagement throughout the five years stay here, and etc. and etc. Mm -hmm. And she talked it, and she talked to all of them in that manner. Mm -hmm. Now let us know that. Uh -huh. Oh, let's think you just come and present the presidential between, between, between Queen Elizabeth and she check it and everything all right and she just turn his back and gone. 
Uh -huh. No, they just sit down and discuss with the queen. And therefore the queen just talk to them. Uh -huh. Because all of them are younger than she and she are older than them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because she's a mother to all of them. Mm -hmm. God save the queen of England. God save her majesty. I'm speaking very highly about the queen. Yes, I have Braxton. This little Christian boy from Trinidad and Tobago. God save her majesty, the queen. And all, as I said, all those who don't like the queen, Elizabeth Pitya. Well, as I said, gentle ladies and gentlemen, even in my own country, Trinidad and Tobago, have obtained independence and republic. I could go in any building in Trinidad and Tobago. And if there is any pity of Queen Elizabeth on, on any portrait on the wall, I will gladly admire it and welcome that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Any building in Trinidad I go, and any private home I go to, in Trinidad and Tobago, and there's a pity of the Queen, I will tell the people, happy for all that to have that pity of the Queen. And to keep it there, don't take it down. Oh yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And any part of the world I go, if I have the opportunity to go any part of the world, whether it be Indian, England, China, Russia, Germany, France, South America, other Caribbean islands, Fiji islands, Africa, the Middle East. And I see Pitya, a portrait of Queen Elizabeth in any building or any private home. I will tell the people to leave the Queen Elizabeth Pitya there and to keep the Pitya on the wall. Any restaurant or any store, I go in any, in any country of the world and they have the Pitya of Queen Elizabeth on the wall or in the front door of the building. I will tell them what you all are doing right is right. Happy for you all to put Queen Elizabeth Pitya there and to keep her there as long as possible. Yes, that would be my advice to them. God save the Queen of England. Mm -hmm. But a, a lot of you all who hate the Queen and dislike the Queen, hmm, all you does want to see she put her no way. Mm -hmm. Display no way. So her put her mustn't be in no government ministry, mustn't be in no stores, mustn't be in no homes and no person, mustn't be in no buildings. All all you want to see Queen Elizabeth put her is in a copy of a book, in books. Uh -huh. that, but when the book is closed, nobody can see she put there. You had to go in the library to open the book to see she put there. No, I want to see her put there all about the place. I want to see her put there on the wall. I want to see her put there in the restaurant. I want to see her put there in the store. I want to see her put there in the car. Oh, yes. Everywhere you want to go. I want to see Queen Elizabeth put there, man. Yes, I want to see Queen Elizabeth put there. God save the Queen. God save the Queen of England. God save her the majesty. For his honor and his glory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. God save the Queen Elizabeth. I want all the people of England and all the people of Ireland and all the people of Canada, all the people of New Zealand, all the people of Australia to know that I, Ray Braxton, are supporting Queen Elizabeth a full hundred percent and for the honor in the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God save Queen Elizabeth. And don't you all know that I, Eric Braxton, this little Christian boy, was very fortunate enough to see Queen Elizabeth? Yes, a few years ago. I cannot recall the exact year. But I think what is in 19, 1991 or 1992 or 1993, somewhere about there, she came to Trinidad as an official state visit, of course, to lay a wreath at the Memorial Park in Trinidad and Tobago to support the soldiers, the Trinidadian soldiers, who fought with the British soldiers in the Second World War against Nazi Germany. And, and the Queen Elizabeth walked up to the Memorial Park and she laid a wreath. I was there to witness it. So I did see Queen Elizabeth in the flesh when she came to Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And I'm very joyous and I'm very happy to have seen the Queen Elizabeth in my own country, Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will not have that opportunity like I have mm -hmm. to see her in the flesh for them to see her in the flesh i'm not talking with no video where she's speaking and i'm not talking in no book to see her in the flesh they will have to leave trinidad to go to england to see her but thank god i have seen her in the flesh 
Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited about that. I'm very happy about that in my heart of hearts and in my mind. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This is no lie I tell you all, you know. This is true to them. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So God save the Queen. God save the Queen of England for his honor and his glory. Give her health and strength. And she must live many years to come. And she must live more than a hundred years. And she must sit on the continue sitting on the throne. And Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth must die on the throne. And she must not resign one bit. All of you all in England and in Australia and New Zealand or even Canada who is calling on Queen Elizabeth to resign. I doesn't want you to listen to none of you all. And even people in England who is calling on their queen to resign. I doesn't want you to listen to none of you all. None of you all she must listen to. Queen Elizabeth. Hmm. She must sit on the throne and die on the throne. She must stay there a hundred years. And I wish that God continues for her to live to 110 and 20 years and she must remain on that throne and die on that throne yes i are seeing that i are seeing that loud and clear to all the people of england i are seeing that to loud and clear to all the people of ireland i are seeing that loud and clear to all the people of new zealand and australia and canada and to all the few territories that she that pretend control and have the little have the few governor general representing the state representing her majesty a set of state in these territories i eric braxana saying that loud and clear to one and all and all and sundry mm -hmm. at the end of this video i will be posting this video the good morning america and i hope that they get that message that Eric Braxton have record concerning Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning, good morning, Britain, or good morning, Britain. I have already posted to that address. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God save the Queen. God save the Queen. God save the Queen of England. Mm -hmm. And then again, the Queen, who, the, who is the one that's give out? Who is the one, who is the one that's give out the knighthood and to knight them? They had to come before Queen Elizabeth. And she stretched out the royal sword, the rest of the under sword there, and she canine them. And now they get the title Sir, or Sir this, Sir that, Sir that. Uh, is the Queen Elizabeth. And if Queen Elizabeth because, because get orders from a doctor for her to rest, and she can't carry out that function, her son or her daughter, Prince Annie there, with a royal sword in the hand. So when the one come to the K knight, she rests the sword on him and she gives him the title Sir. He's K knighted by the Queen because her daughter, Queen Annie, is representing her mother and rests the royal sword upon the soul of that man, of that woman. And her, they get the K knighted after they will get the royal suffocate showing that he's been officially K knighted by the Queen. Now they, they are Sir this and Sir that. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And if Queen Anne cannot is out of the country or engage in some other engagement and she can her son Prince Charles is there to carry it out. Uh-huh. I want you all to know that. Mm-hmm. I want you all to know that. And therefore I read Braxton. That the Queen is saying loud and clear to all the people of Britain, England, all the people of Australia, all the people of New Zealand and England and Canada and other part, all over the world. All of you all who despise the Queen, well I despise no Queen. I love the Queen and I'm supporting the Queen. She must remain on the throne and die on the throne. Yes, and I pray that I hope that God will spare her life to live more than a hundred. I'm praying that God will spare her life, that she will live longer than her husband, Prince Philip, who have died recently because of ailment. For, I think 98 years he have died, or 99? Those are 100. I want Queen Elizabeth to live more than a hundred years, and she must remain on that throne and, res and die on the throne. Yes, and she must not resign at all. 
and all all the people all the people from England who 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 oppose the Queen and find she so she she so lo she staying too long on the throne. We need a new Queen. Mm -hmm. And all the people in New Zealand and Australia who say, Queen Elizabeth, you're so old, you can't even walk so, you're, you're looking so feeble and old. Mm -hmm. You're bending down, you're, you're not standing up straightly. You, it's now time for you to resign uh -huh. and go in your winter castle in Scotland or your royal castle and relax yourself. <laughs> all all you, I pity you all all you. I pity you all all you who, who think in that way, negative, negativity towards the Queen Elizabeth in Australia. I pity you all. All all the war Queen Elizabeth because all the things she's too old. Mm -hmm. She's too long on the throne. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For her to resign. All all the things in Australia. I pity you all. I pity you all. All the negative attitude towards the Queen. All the Queen. Uh -huh. Well, I don't want you to listen to none of you or in Australia who think in that way. I don't want Queen Elizabeth to listen to none of you in New Zealand who listen, who think in that way to the Queen. And no, all of you who think in that way, even in Britain against the Queen, I don't want Queen Elizabeth to listen to none of you. And all of you think in that way towards the Queen in Canada, that negative way towards Queen Elizabeth to resign. I don't want you to listen to none of you. I want her to stay on the throne and to die on the throne. And she must live more than, live longer than her husband. She must live longer than her husband, Prince Philip, more than a hundred years, up to 105, or uh, even up to 110, and a stretching it even 115 or 120 years. Queen Elizabeth must stay on the throne and must die on the throne. I agree, Pakistan. I agree, Pakistan. I'm proclaiming that and supporting that, that God will give her that long life. I remain on the throne. Mm -hmm. But all of all the who despise the queen and hate the queen and have sinister agenda against the queen. Mm -hmm. Saying she's staying too she you know, she's too old. Uh, why she resign? Why she going to winter cast and relax she relax herself and live out the rest of her days. Yes, how old she is. Why she wants to stay on the throne to carry out all these royal duties. Uh, to see all the ambassadors come into her. All the foreign dignitaries, she had to be there. Yeah, find I too much work for that old lady. Uh, she had enough of that over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why she resign and pack up herself. Give that to her son, the Prince Charles. He's much young. He's more fit. He's more energetic. And he should carry out his royal function instead of his mother. Uh -huh. I don't want Queen Elizabeth to listen. None of that from all you. Uh, all these things, all they're saying against the Queen. She should pack up. Yeah. Let Prince Charles take over. Yeah, I don't want Prince Charles to take over at all. She must rem remain on that throne more than 100 years. And I want God to spare her life to 110 or 20, 120 years. And she must live and die on the throne. God save the Queen of England. God save the Queen of England. God save the Queen of England. He have a pointer and put on that throne for a very important. And all of, those, all of you all who are ignorant of the true role that Queen Elizabeth is playing, that God the Creator have placed on that throne. Well, you all are just ignorant of it. I pray that God will enlighten you all so you all come to the knowledge of that and understand how to function as head of state and being queen over England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But all you want to talk negativity about the Queen and evil talk the Queen and bad talk Queen Elizabeth and saying she's a wicked old lady and, and all sorts of negative things about the Queen. I pity all you. I pity all you. This little Christian boy in the Western world in the Caribbean from Trinidad and Tobago have recorded this video and I'm pitying all of you all. Pity. But I love you all, eh? I hate all, eh? you know, all these my brothers and sisters. But that's you all on the wrong road concerning Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. You all are blinded to the true purpose and function why she is on that throne. God has placed her there. Mm -hmm. And I pity you all, I pity you all, I pity you all. Sad on all your part, sad on all your part. Mm -hmm. Sad on all your part. I just pray that you all will see the light very soon so that all that negativity that you all are postulating towards Queen Elizabeth, that you all will stop it in the shortest possible time and see Queen Elizabeth in the true light that she is. Uh -huh. I hope that they come sooner. 
rather than later. And only come to that reality and understanding in the shortest possible time. <laughs> I wonder if all of you all will get it, will get it, will get it. I just hope so. Mm -hmm. But I know a lot of you all are not getting it because I know there's a lot of black historians in different parts of the world. <laughs> who, do all, who doesn't want you all to appreciate the Queen? Eh? Because he will tell all you, yeah? oh, look how the British gone in Africa and steal the people go and colonize the people and they were the colonial masters. The Britain was the colonial masters. And why is it was here? Yeah? <laughs> they raped the land and take all the gold and silver and all the wealth and carried back to England. And they had the, England had the, this country in Africa poor. I'm not calling names, but a lot of them will give all of that black talk. And, 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 and they talk about black history. Oh yes, the England was part of slavery and they enslaved black people, carry black people to, the, to, the, to, to England uh, and slave them and bring black people to the Caribbean and slave them. I know this black historian will tell her that and tell all the Queen Elizabeth is a wicked wo woman and all the past kings and queens is wicked. Yeah, and all will grow up with that, with that hatred against Queen Elizabeth. I know that, I know that. I think I know that, that's why I mentioned it, it to you all, and therefore you all will despise the Queen and hate the Queen because here in these black, these black historians who are very articulated and they are great charismatic speakers. Mm -hmm. And when you all listen to them, they will sweep all, all, all your, off all your feet and you all accept what these black historians say. And of course you all will get up and say hats off to them and give them a standing ovation, but not me at all. Not me at all. I will listen to them. But I only, but all these black historians who are talking that way, I pity them also. Sad on their part. They just know better. They really are no better in truth. I pity them. They are my black brothers, it's true. But at the same time, I pity them. They are giving me that a hole. Uh -huh. They'll give that all of that a hole. And you all are glad you accept that. One, not me at all. I don't, I doesn't want to know the whether they're from Cornwall University, they are giving me that a hole. Whether they be from Stanford University, they're not giving this little Christian boy to hold that. I could assure you all that. And whether they're from John Hopkins University, I'm not accepting that neither from them. You understand? You understand? You understand? Uh-huh. 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 They're not giving me that a hole. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can assure you all that. A full hundred percent. I can assure you all that. God save the Queen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. God save Queen Elizabeth. I will see if I could carry this video to a full hour run. I need to do that. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I need to do that, yes. Mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth, man. Queen Elizabeth. The second. Oh yes, Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I doesn't want to lose. I just, and, and the people of Scotland, I have a message to you all. I now remember. This is the second time you all have a have whole referendum in, in, the, in, in Scotland, Glasgow, a few years ago, to be independent from Britain, to do away with Queen Elizabeth. I was sad on all your part. Yes, all of you, all my brothers and sisters of Scotland, yes, this message for you all too. Why you all doesn't want Queen Elizabeth to be, to be head of Scotland? You all want to break away from England and have all your own government and set up all your own border laws uh -huh. and remove Queen Elizabeth from all that dollar bill. So Queen Elizabeth will not be head of state over all here and all her elect all her own prime minister and own president and have all her election in Scotland, England. And I know in the parliament in Scotland, England, yes, a lot of the politicians there are supporting Queen Elizabeth to remain and a lot of the opposition, the party across the want Scotland to break away from England, but I glad, I glad, I glad that you, all the people in Scotland, 
who want to break away from England, I'm glad that none of you all didn't get you with that. Yes, I tell it all of that to the face. Yes. Yes. All they had that referendum, ref, um, referendum twice, and you all lose it. Yeah. I wish that you all would continue losing. Come up with the third one now. Huh? All the people in Scotland, the opposition, as you all are talking to. All the politicians, all they want to break away from Queen Elizabeth, all they come up with all the third referendum. I want, I want to see that you all feel miserably. You all feel in the first one and the second one miserably. I want you all to feel the third one miserably and the fourth and the second, the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and the seventh one miserably, miserably too. Well, I, Eric Braxton, want to stretch out my Christian right hand of fellowship and to support all the people of Scotland. Who did not support that reparation but but rally but rally to stay with Queen Elizabeth. Uh, I support you all a full hand hundred percent. I say hats off to you all, bravo bravo, a full hundred, a full hundred a f you all have done well and therefore I give you all a full hundred percent marks on that. But you all decide to remain uh, remain in England and for Queen Elizabeth to be head of state uh, to be head of state throughout the length and breadth of England and you all have no intention to break away from uh, from Scotland to break away from England all the people who are supporting the Queen in, in, in um, Scotland in England to remain with the Queen happy in all the part happy in all the part it's those in Scotland all the people the opposition who's opposed the Queen want to break away and want Scotland to break away from England I pity all of them sad on their part I pity all of them but I love all of them too eh? all of them is my brothers and sisters and they thought, oh, they thought tomorrow I leave England I mean Trinidad and Tobago and I come up to Scotland what I tell them in this video I'll tell them to the face of their two in the public square with my mic telling them the same way up to the so don't believe I only talk in this talk in Trinidad when I reach in Scotland I'll talk the same talk to uh -huh. all them opposition leaders and politicians with the supporters in Scotland who want to break away from England nah 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 yeah, I want to hear a referendum and they're planning to cover that next re referendum now I wish to feel miserable on that too yeah the same way too God save Queen Elizabeth. God save the Queen for his honor and for his glory. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And all, all who does who despise the Queen and don't like Queen Elizabeth. And all they hate the Queen and speaking evil, all sorts of manner, evil and wickedness. All is speaking against Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. I want all to stop that in the shortest, quickest possible time. Mm -hmm. God is listening to everything all are seeing against Queen, Queen Elizabeth and if all of them repent of it in the shortest possible time now under the song of my voice but want to continue on that negative road that negative evil agenda that all they have against the Queen the bad talker and evil talker and say negative things against her God will judge all you and God will judge all you in due course of time mm -hmm course of time you will judge all your concerning that I could assure you all that I could assure you all that a full hundred percent mark my words mark my words mark my words ladies and gentlemen boys and girls all over the world mm -hmm. mark my words mark my words God save the Queen God save the Queen God save the Queen and I want to know I want all the people of England to know and all the people of Canada and all the people of Australia and New Zealand and all over the, all over the world to know that I Eric Braxton are supporting the Queen a full hundred percent and she must not resign she must stay on the throne and die on the throne and I want her to live more years than her husband Prince live Prince Philip die 98 or 97 years she is 95 now she must live more than 100 years i pray and i hope that god will keep her alive to 110 years to 150 years 15 years and to 120 years and she wants to remain on that throne for 100 and for 100 years for 110 years and 120 years and she must die on the throne yes god save the queen God save the Queen for his honor and his glory. In no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friend. Shalom, peace. God save Queen Elizabeth. God save Queen Elizabeth. God be with Queen Elizabeth. And save Queen Elizabeth.
Queen Elizabeth and keep using her mightily for his own and his glory. For his own and his glory. In all the name but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.